President Rodrigo Duterte somehow was hurt after her daughter Davao City Mayor Sara Duterte Carpio filed her certificate of candidacy for vice president under Lakas CMD party for the 2022 polls. But resigned presidential spokesperson Harry Roque said, just like any other families, the two remain in a loving relationship. Wala naman pong problema sa samahan siguro na mag-ama, no? Uh, ang sinabi lang ni Presidente, hindi nagkonsulta si uh, Mayor uh, Sara sa kanyang mga political plans pero medyo siyempre nagtatampo dahil hindi nga siya nakonsulta. Pero alam niyo po, si Mayor Sara, paboritong-paboritong anak po yan ng ating Presidente. According to the palace, the chief executive was surprised and dismayed about the decision of Sara but family ties will win out. Sabihin na lang natin na gaya ng kahit anong relasyong pamilya, minsan may tagpuhan pero... Wala pong kaduda-duda, nagmamahalan po mag-ama. Siguro nga po may konting tampo, pero I can assure you po, apple of his eyes, um, apple of his eyes si Mayor Sara sa paningin po ni Presidente. In an interview yesterday, November 14, President Duterte said he has not talked to his daughter, but he does not blame Sara over her decision. Hindi ko naman siya sinisisi kasi hindi naman kami nag-uusap. So, yung decision nila ang ayaw ko na tatakbo lang. I'm sure yung pagtakbo ni Sarah, mm -hmm. eh, decision nila bong-bong yun. Mm -hmm. Kaya nagpatataka ako, sabi ko, siya ang number one sa survey kung bakit mm -hmm. siya pumayag na tatakbo lang bise. Mm -hmm. Ngayon, bakit ka tatakbo ng bise presidente? na alam mo na mas lamang ka. Mm -hmm. nga, may, may view ka na in advance na malakas ka. The palace defends the substitution option being blamed by some after the controversial surprise entries in the presidential and vice presidential race over the weekend. Roque said it is legal and only Congress can abolish it. Rosa Licos, UNTV News and Rescue. We serve the people, we give glory to God.